Now back to our top story this evening. Fire crews have a long night ahead of them as they keep their eyes on a massive wildfire in Lawrence County. Action 12's Nick King is live from the scene this evening. And Nick, as I understand it, the blaze is under control tonight. Yeah, Tiffany, they've ruled it 100% contained at this point. It all started shortly after noon today when a man close by here was welding a cattle corral and the fire started to spread. Monette Fire Department was immediately called in and they were able to get it surrounded around the house to keep the family safe. But the fire had by then uh, spread to some nearby fields. It really took off from there a good mile and a half before reaching a wooded area. And there, 60 to 80 foot trees, the stronger winds at the top of those trees really kept it moving. And keep in mind at this point, we've got more than 12 fire departments, upwards of 150 firefighters. They're on the scene at that point, finally able to corral it, but it took that many folks to do it. The guy come running up there, it was already in my yard, pounding on the door because they were trying to contain it and they couldn't, and I guess, and pounding on the door. And, uh, and when I opened up, the smoke was so bad, I could barely even see him. It just like, whoa, coming you know, come right at me. And, um, I got some hoses off the back porch and we had a bucket here. We saved the first house, burned around it, uh, got into some large fields and the wind blowing it just took off as all stubble and it's all all burning and uh, it burned almost a mile and three quarter. And the way they were able to get this done it's a process called back burning where they go around to the opposite side of where the fire is and set fire to the ground, the trees there until eventually it reaches. So where the fire was coming from and where they set fire and they're able to control it that way. And Tiffany, now they started with more than 150 guys been able to send a lot of that crew home down to about 15 to 20 people. Nick said so those guys will stay out there through the night though. Is that right? They plan on staying through the night. They expect to be out until the morning, I would say. Obviously a very, very long and just a grueling day for firefighters out there. 150 firefighters in the heat of the day today, Nick. That's right, and there was was one firefighter treated for dehydration. He turned out he was just fine. Uh, I did speak to one firefighter from Monette who's been here more than 20 years, said far and away this is the worst he's encountered. All righty, well, I'm glad they have it contained tonight. Nick King reporting live for us tonight near Monette. Nick, thanks so much.